The best cheap phones are more important than ever. As phone prices climb higher and ridiculous, unwanted features seep into popular models. You can find a powerful phone with a great camera, bright display, and proven durability for less than $500. Why spend four times as much on a phone that folds? Why spend more on features you don't need? Often, the best cheap phones offer what we really want in a phone. Like the best battery life, bright color options, and expandable storage. You can't find those features on a Pro Max anything. Finding a bargain phone doesn't even mean missing out on the features of tomorrow, like cool AI magic. You can buy a Google Pixel 8a for features like generative writing and AI wallpapers. Or, if you'd rather skip the AI nonsense, our favorite bargain iPhone, the iPhone 13, will never get Apple's intelligence AI features. So if you want to miss the AI boat, get Apple's best cheaper iPhone. We have listed the 10 best budget mobile 2024, and there are key features you need to consider this to help you choose the best one for you. For more information on the product, as always, I've included a link in the description box down below, which are updated with the best prices on each product. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. Now let's get started. Number 10, Nokia XR20 Rugged Smartphone. Should we be surprised that Nokia has finally launched its first true rugged smartphone? Not really. Years after Samsung with its Galaxy Active range, and only a few weeks after the relaunch of the Motorola DeFi range, HMD Global, which now owns the Nokia brand, finally woke up to the potential of that small but thriving outdoor market. The end product is the XR20, a Qualcomm-powered, 5G-enabled, shockproof, and water-resistant smartphone that aspires to be more than just a ruggedized device. It stands out as a capable all-rounder with above-average after-sales support and warranty that should make it a firm favorite amongst those looking for a business smartphone that can withstand more than just the occasional knocks. Don't let the entry-level hardware shock you, though. There's much more to it than just the specification sheet. We just wish that it had a slight more palatable price tag. In the UK, the XR20 will be available in two configurations. 4GB RAM 64GB storage and 6GB RAM 128GB storage, and two color schemes, ultra blue and granite. The first model carries a $399 price tag, about a $549.0749, and the second will cost $449 dizers, $0839.499 and euros. In the US, the phone will go on sale from August 24th for $550 in the US. The phone comes with a three-year warranty in Europe and ANZ. On the outside, the XR20 doesn't seem as solidly built as some of the burlier smartphones we've seen over the past few months. Featuring a trim 10.6mm profile, the thinnest of its category, and a footprint of 171.6x81.5 meters, and it weighs a mere 248. Compare that to the Ucatel WP10, for example, another rugged 5G smartphone, which is 50% heavier and 70% thicker. Number 9. Blackview BV9900 Pro Rugged Smartphone the Blackview BV9900 Pro is so close, and yet so far, it is not as groundbreaking as the BV9800 Pro, but delivers a fantastic set of upgrades to warrant a very solid rating. Definitely one to buy if you want the best FLIR smartphone out there. Blackview is one of the more consistent rugged smartphone vendors on the market, and has delivered some of the best mobiles in a vertical that has become more and more crowded over the years. Even Samsung with its Xcova range has tested the waters. The manufacturer usually brings two flagship devices to the market every year, and now is the time to test the first one of 2020, the BV9900 Pro. Its main selling point is the FlyR infrared camera sensor, which was introduced in the BV9800 Pro at a surprising low price tag at just under $500. The BV9900 Pro keeps the price tag, but significantly changes what's inside. Read on to find out what else changed. The BV9900 Pro goes back to a simpler design, still influenced by what we call the 4 plus 4 model, four short corners and four long edges, and losing the roundedness of the BV9800 Pro. It feels more compact, more solid, and more utilitarian than its predecessor. As with the previous iteration, it adheres to IP68, to IP69K, and MILSTD 8110G certifications. Blackview hasn't confirmed whether they've been actually tested to these ratings or if they carry the relevant specifications. Number 8. AGM H6. AGM's budget rugged phone combines essential smartphone features with robust design. It's simple, user-friendly, and has a reliable battery. Not the most powerful, but with excellent signal strength and smooth-running Google Apps, it covers all the basics effectively. What more is needed? The AGM H6 rugged mobile phone follows the usual tough design, yet still manages to keep the overall look and feel of the smartphone slim and stylish. The rubberized plastic surround provides a decent grip, and the few buttons placed around the edge are a decent size and easy enough to find and use. Adding to the durability of this phone is the IP68 rating, which means it can be submerged underwater, making it a great solution for anyone needing a phone that can keep up with life outdoors. 
It's also built to MyL STD 8121H standards, ensuring that if you drop it under most normal conditions, the phone won't be affected. As you look over the phone, you'll also notice that rubber flaps cover all ports, and the back of the phone is textured to give a better overall grip to the device in any condition. There are also a few more interesting features, such as the three card slot that enables you to add two SIM cards and a TF card up to 512 GigaB, greatly expanding the already decent 256 GigaB that comes as standard. In speed tests, the phone didn't hold up so well against most other recent releases, with relatively low Geekbench and 3D Mark scores. However, when just running Google Apps for business, that power is more than sufficient. We've tested out quite a number of the best rugged smartphones and the best rugged tablets, and the AGM H6 rugged mobile phone is for anyone wanting a simple, tough, no-fuss Android phone. It offers all the classic Google tools such as Mail, Docs, Sheets, and Calendar, without the bloat often found on other phones at a budget price. Number 7. Cat S75. Cat branded phones aren't a new thing. We previously covered lots of these Caterpillar branded handsets, most recently the excellent S62 Pro. The S75 is a significant step up from the S62 Pro, having a bigger screen, better cameras, a larger battery, and a much more powerful SoC. However, it still comes with the same 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage as its predecessor, which seems less than modern rugged designs now typically come. Two features make the S75 impressive, and the first of those is how Rugged Cat made this device. Where rugged phones can usually handle being dropped a meter onto a hard surface, this one can survive a 1.8 meter drop onto steel plate. We also often see waterproofing that allows submersion to a meter's depth for up to an hour. And the S75 only lasts 35 minutes, but it can handle 5 ohmiolars without having a rubber plug covering the USB-C port. Those features make it very robust, but the second special feature is almost unique for mainstream phones. Satellite messaging. Being able to send a message from any remote location, irrespective of cell coverage, is remarkably useful for anyone on an adventure holiday, ocean sailing, or who is far away from civilization. The asking price doesn't quite match the specification, as Chinese phone makers offer more powerful platforms with double the memory and storage for half the 599 asking price. But those phones can't send a message via a satellite, and if you aren't near a cell tower and need to communicate, it might be cheap at this price. The CAT S75 can be bought from numerous outlets and directly from CAT in most regions. From what we understand, the phone will be sold in the USA as the Motorola DeFi 2, and should be available on Amazon by the end of June 2023. The pricing of around $600 is very close to what the DeFi 2 will be selling, but the CAT branded version might be marginally more expensive. Number 6. Doogee V30 each time Doogie comes out with a new flagship design, it moves the bar for numerous companies in the rugged phone sector. The new V30 takes features exclusive to premium branded phones only months ago, and delivers them in an affordable package for those that work outdoors or yearn to adventure. Ticking the rugged phone boxes, this is an IP68, IP69K, and MIL STD 8110H compliant design that can handle dust and water, including full submersion for limited periods and shallow depths. But the parts of this phone that will interest the discerning customer are all inside. Specifically, the Dimensity 900 SoC, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, and 108A minute P camera. These make the V30 a potent and capable phone that can connect using 5G when available and capture the world around it in astounding detail. On the rear are a 108MP Samsung S5 KHM 2SP03 main camera. F179 90 degree FOV PDAF, a 20 megapixel Sony IMX350 night vision camera, F1.8 70 degree FOV, and a 16 megapixel wide angle and macro camera, F2.2 130 degree FOV. For selfie takers, the front is a 32 megapixel IMX666 AAJH 5C front camera, F2.0 90 degree FOV. Like we've seen before with the sensor, the taking of 108 nm point images negates some of the special features like HDR and bokeh, but you can get those things in a 12 nm p mode. However, other phones don't offer 4K video capture, and the V30 does, along with lower resolutions. Viewing those pictures or streamed content is easy on its 6.58 inch IPS 120kHz display, with a natural resolution of 2408 to x1080, similar to one of that we've seen before on the Ulephone Power Armor 17 Pro. With a battery capacity of 10 to 800 mAh, the V30 should operate for more than three days of normal use without needing a recharge. And using the included 66W charger, it can recover 50% of its battery capacity from empty in around 30 minutes. Number 5. Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. The Samsung Galaxy A14 5G 199.99 is an affordable way to gain access to speedy 5G networks while enjoying one of the better Android update policies on the market. 
Though the Moto G Play 169.99 undercuts the A14 in price, it lacks 5G. While the TCL 40X 5G 199.99 goes almost spec for spec with the A14, but has a less dazzling display and a weaker software upgrade commitment. Given these strengths over the competition, the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G earns our editor's choice award for budget-friendly Android phones. The first thing you notice about the Galaxy A14 5G is the screen, which has been improved in all the right ways compared with the Galaxy A13. The size has been nudged up slightly from 6.5 inches to 6.6 .6 inches. The 90Hz refresh rate remains the same, and most importantly, the resolution increases from 1600 by 720 pixels to 2400 by 1080 pixels, boosting the pixel density from 270 ppi to 399 ppi for a huge improvement in sharpness. Both the Moto G Play and the TCL 40X 5G have lower resolution 1600 by 720 pixel screens. The difference in resolution is noticeable and goes a long way toward giving the A14 5G a superior overall experience. Samsung could have done more by pushing up the brightness, however. The display peaks at just 500 nits, which is half what today's flagships generate. Reading the phone outside in bright sunlight is sometimes a struggle, though this is fairly common across $200 handsets. Number 4. Motorola Moto G Stylus It was a Sunday evening and my wife, dog, and I were lounging in our home after a long stroll. My pup looked particularly photogenic in the warm rays of the sunset filtering through my dusty windows, so I took my phone's stylus out for a quick sketch. I showed my results to my wife, and she started cackling. I blame the pen. I don't mind having access to a built-in stylus on a smartphone. I don't use them much, but they can be fun for doodling and helpful for signing documents. I particularly enjoy using the stylus in Samsung smartphones as a remote shutter for the camera, but this isn't a function available on Motorola's phones. Alas, the styli remained inside their housing for much of my time with the new Moto G Stylus 200 and Moto G Stylus 5G 400. Still, if it's something you know you want, these are just about the only cheap phones with one. The new stylus models are perfectly fine Android phones, but they are far from my first choice if you're just after a cheap phone. They're a part of Motorola's 2023 Moto G lineup, which also includes the Moto G Play 170, Moto G 5G 250, and Moto G Power 5G 300. Whoo! Design-wise, they look like the dictionary's definition of smartphone, and aren't too unwieldy to hold, though they are slippery. Thank goodness there's no glass on the back one, less area to crack. It's cheaper, but the Moto G Stylus is harder to recommend than its sibling. It doesn't have any 5G connectivity, which is the least you can expect from a phone these days. Yes, even on a tight budget. If Samsung's $200 Galaxy A14 5G has it, there's no reason Motorola can't include it. The slower speeds of 4G LTE were noticeable when downloading away from Wi-Fi. Number 3. OnePlus Nord N30 The Nord N30 5G looks like any other smartphone in its drab chromatic gray color. I do like its flat edges, as it offers up a nice grip when holding the device. And you need it with a 6.72-inch screen, it's on the larger end of the smartphone spectrum. It's a lot more narrow, though, so it's manageable to hold with one hand, though your fingers will stretch to reach the top of the screen. The two best parts of the Nord N30 are its battery life and performance. The 5000 Nabord MAA cell easily lasted two full days on a single charge, hitting 15% by 10pm at the end of the second day. My second day was pretty busy, too, with lots of photography, GPS navigation as I rode my scooter from Brooklyn to Manhattan, and music playback. Even better, OnePlus includes a 50-watt charging adapter in the box that can bring the battery back up to 80% in just 30 minutes, and that lined up with my testing. This is one area where it outperforms all of its peers, with only Motorola coming close with its similar battery life. It's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 5G chipset with 8GB of RAM, and my benchmark test put it slightly behind the Moto G Power 2023 and the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. What does that mean in real-world usage? It's pretty good. Yes, you'll see some hiccups here and there, but I've had a fairly smooth experience juggling multiple apps and even playing games like Dead Cells. You're in a good place when you don't have to worry about performance, especially at $300. You're going to be staring at this thing all day, and the good news is the screen is pretty nice. There's a 120Hz screen refresh rate that makes all the animations and scrolling look buttery smooth, and everything looks sharp thanks to the 1080 pixel resolution. The bad news? It's an LCD screen. Number 2. Samsung Galaxy A54 5G Samsung's best phone, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, offers huge performance and amazing photography prowess. But it also comes with a whopping $1-$200 price tag, $1,149-A1-1949, which is simply out of the question for many of us. Looking lower down Samsung's range doesn't mean suffering with slow, frustrating hardware. 
As Samsung's new $450, $499, A699, Galaxy A54 5G proves, you can get a phone with solid performance for a very reasonable price. The Galaxy A54 packs a 6.4-inch display, an octa-core processor that offers enough power for daily essentials, including light gaming, and a camera that does a decent job of handling your out-and-about snaps. I even like the design, particularly the lime green version I reviewed. Its 128GB of storage will be enough for most people, and those who need more space can expand it with microSD cards up to 1 TB in size. It's got a lot going for it considering its reasonable $450 price tag and it's often on sale for even less. While writing this review, I saw a $375 price on Best Buy and Amazon. Sadly though, I didn't see it when publication time rolled around. Even with that potential discount, however, the Galaxy A54 gets outshone by Google's budget phones in key areas, particularly the camera. Even at the Galaxy A54's competitive price, the competition is fierce, with Google's superb $349 Pixel 6a and the latest Pixel 7a priced at $499, just $50 more than the A54's usual retail price. We gave the Pixel 6a a Kinet Editor's Choice Award for its combination of solid all-round performance and affordable price, with it remaining one of the best budget phones money can buy. The new Pixel 7a also impressed us with its great camera and smooth performance, pushing CNET to recommend it over the Pixel 7 since it's $100 cheaper. Number 1. Google Pixel 7a When I reviewed the Pixel 7a back in May, I praised it for its sleek design, great cameras, and resemblance to the pricier Pixel 7. Revisiting the phone three months later has only reinforced those impressions, along with reiterating other pros and cons about the device. Google has a strong track record for updating the software on its Pixel phones years after their release with new features and functionality, which keeps its devices feeling fresh. And the same should hold true for the Pixel 7a. But since we're likely just a couple of months away from Google announcing its Pixel 8 lineup, the big question is whether it's worth buying the Pixel 7a now or whether you should wait for the Pixel 8. While we don't know what to expect from Google's next generation phone, the answer will largely depend on the Pixel 8's price and whether it comes with any compelling new features. Google typically announces its next Pixel line in October and may drastically mark down the Pixel 7 series in the lead up, which could make it a better buy than the 7a. I generally recommend waiting until Google holds its next major product launch before making a purchasing decision. But if you need a new Android phone now and are eyeballing the Pixel 7a, rest assured that you'll get a great camera and useful software features in a package that feels just right. Not too big and not too small. The Pixel 7a's 6.1-inch size feels like the perfect balance between portability and spaciousness. It's big enough to comfortably read news stories, make video calls and scroll through social media, but doesn't feel like a burden when I hold it. 